Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man. And tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You can join the Patreon squad. By doing so, you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore content that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. You'll be able to see videos and you'll see photos, photographs, names of persons who have been killed and are and still waiting on justice like Rifle of the British crew, one of the British of the, uh, of the British crew and you'll see the people who are involved in the killing of these men and others including Douglas Chambers, who was killed by PMP criminal organization members, and it, it came from the top. And to date, the person, our person who have given given that order, has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support, and we look forward to. Yes, uh, I wanted you know use this opportunity to. Um, to let you guys know that I appreciate the calls uh, you know, for those who have been checking up on me. You know, want to know if I'm if I'm doing okay, if you know if I'm safe, and you know all the concern that you guys have expressed. And I really appreciate the love that you know that you guys have sent out to me. Um, it's you know the the reason why you know you haven't received any video is just because of um. You know, certain thing because of my, um, as I told you, my job, I, you know, I'm traveling. But uh, over the weekend, I should be back. You understand? So, you know, that, that that's what's happening. So, as I've stated before, and I'll continue to say again, that, you know, that there are several people out there that um, wanted me dead for various reasons. Not because I have done them anything, but because I was speaking the truth. And as I've stated before, I'm not afraid of dying. I know that one day I will, I will die. Yes, um, and that's a part of the um, part of the journey. That's part of life. So those who think that they're gonna live forever, they have another guest coming. As my mother always said, that um, all of us will die. So you know, when someone dies and you rejoice, don't worry because your time is coming too. The only thing is that some people die before others. Yes, but eventually everyone will go. And that's a part of it. So, yeah. Um, so, one of the main reasons why we are doing this video is that, um, yeah, so, you know, for months we have been receiving um, death threats. Yes, um, from the scholar. Um, several of them, but especially this one. This man had called and left over 70. 
um, death threats. So we are here to unveil him today. So you're going to see who is this man. And, you know, some people might know him, some might. But we're not going to put up his um, his correct name and where he is at this moment in time. But we just want you to know, um, our loyal viewers and subscribers, to know what this man looks like. Yes, the one that has been sending the death threat because of um, um, Mark Golden, um, Vibes Cartel, Michael Manley and the PMP criminal organization. Yes, um, this is the man. Yes, this is the man. But one of the most important thing in life is when, um, you know, when somebody is threatening you and you know, you know, what the person looks like in real time. You know, that is, um, that's, that's a plus for you. And another thing that I will encourage you to do, you know, um, to all members of the Jamaica Young Police Channel is to report um, any form of death threat. You know, so I want to extend my Alfred gratitude to all of you who have been supporting this channel and our mission. Your unwavering dedication and passion, especially against criminal activities, mean the world. I am particularly thankful for our diehard supporters, including the elders. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's the elders, you know, why this channel reached this um, journey, this juncture. So we had 75,000 viewers and subscribers, and we appreciate it. And we didn't just reach here overnight, you know, it took, you know, years. And it's honestly, as I said before, yes, there's an old man by the name of Daddy. Yeah, man, Daddy is one of the men. Yeah, older man, man, yes. And guess what? I know that some people, this is what is going to, um, they're going to be very unhappy to hear this. But this man is an elderly man. I don't know him. But this man, um, you know, this man is very, 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 very knowledgeable when it comes down to Jamaica and his history. And, you know, from time to time, you know, we, um, we talk on the phone. And I can tell you that this man is one of, you know, one of my fav one of the fav the channel's um, favorite um, viewer and subscriber. There's another guy by the name of Henry. There are so many people that, you know, if I take time to call, you know, to so mention their names, I'm telling you to take, like, I don't know when I would stop because there are so many people. But, um, yes, as I say, I want to, you know, the elders and, all of these elders, yeah, man, including, including, you know, community members. Um, yeah, we are start from concrete jungle. People from concrete jungle, yeah, man. Curry pathway, even my pathway, and the other pathway, they mean a concrete jungle. Yes, both. They, 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 yes, they, you know. Although some of them call when they are not there, but they are, you know, that, say that um. The things that I'm saying, it's resonated with some of the youths them inside a concrete jungle because, you know, they hear one of their own um, talking to them and telling them the destructive life of hurting someone else because most of them did not see that that they were hurting other people. They thought that they were controlling people, not knowing that you're causing harm and creating enemies. And we appreciate the response from the people, yes, from concrete jungle, Jonestown. Yes, Tivoli Gardens. Can you believe people from Tivoli Gardens who live there, born, raised there? Some of them live in the United States, some live in England. Are you not talk with me? And they cannot believe that I am from a PMP community and I am talking um, all of these glowing things about Tivoli Gardens and other GLP communities. And they can't believe that, you know, for someone who's from a PMP community is saying all of these things and they feel vindicated as a people because I am talking truth. Well, look here, it's, as I've stated before, you know, sometime in life, um, nothing be, the most important thing in life is just being honest with yourself. From you being honest with yourself, everything just falls, falls within, um, fall in place. If everybody likes you, something is wrong with you. I can tell you that I, I work with one of the, one, I work with a man and I can tell you, some people will tell you that this man, um, yes, that I was like his son, uh, you know, even though, even though himself, yes. You know, I would never say we, are, we have never have a rocky relationship because he's a man, you know, you understand what I'm saying? He really treated me like his son. Um, although I have stated some things the other day in a video about um, not having a godfather or anything like that. 
yeah, you know, everybody does different. So is that's how it is. So and this is a man that, you know, keep me grounded. Yeah, so you know, sometimes I have to do some like a side thing. That's how it is, you know. Yeah, it's just having a conversation with the people. Because we want the people, we want the people to know that we are a part of them. We are not the people's enemy. We are a part of the people. We just want back our country and want it back from these people. Yeah, so we have to big up the people them where trust me boy I'm telling you. And I appreciate the voicemail, the, you know, the voice notes. Yeah, and yeah, and once and once once you say that boy I'm a you know, Mr. Porter, don't play my voice and all of these things. That's why I'm just speaking up all of your communities. For various reasons. I know that's the reason why some people don't want them need them voice to be you know play on the video on the channel to let people know in their community that they listen to the channel. I didn't know that um, some people are, are really afraid to let people know that they listen to the Jamaica Young Police channel because as I said that we are, we are hard and criminals and we don't serve sympathy, juice, tea, coffee, or empathy for them. You know, we don't, you know, not no lunch, dinner. Our supper, you know, we're going to serve that over here. You know, we love the departure long, not even prison we love. You understand? And as time goes by, we, you know, the only thing we can change is so the, is so the better. And we just want back our country. So as we say, you know, so, we, yeah, so we just want to thank the people them from, yeah, from Jonestown, that's where I was born. Never born a Jubilee, born a Jonestown, Oxford Street. Yes, born a yard. Yeah, man. Um, yes, so, um, that couple who call that know my mother and father, you know, and once, once, it, you see, once somebody call and echo this alias of my father, I know that you know my father, you understand? Because only certain people know that, that nickname, you know, so, yes, uh, <laughs> you understand, my father, a pretty boy for real. Yeah, so, yeah, and yeah, the people them from Jonestown, Trenchtown, Tower Hill, people from Tower Hill call. And you know, yeah, we appreciate them. And yeah, people at all while them not shame them, yeah. <laughs> you know, some of them um you know, honestly, you see in life you just have to treat people as people. Yeah, people them from Rima, Kencat, Waterford, Whitfield Town, Linda's Road, yeah, Flankers, Flankers are people are Montego Bay. Me never know that people are Montego Bay. Listen to the listen to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. A man called same come from Gimme Me Bit. A man same from Veer. I know that some people from Veer, Mapen, Butner, Kelly's. I used to work in you know, Clarendon. People are Linstead. People are Portland West. Came on as drive passage Fort Independent City. Yeah, and Gregor Park, Catburn Pen. People are Falcon, Yellow Sea, White Sea Drive, community, I uh, see if you. A man say over fierce one, don't forget fierce one, cause remember you as a little young police and all of them things there. Yeah, so, and I could go on and on and on and honestly, I appreciate the love for the, all of these people because the little time that they haven't heard me, so the, you know, calling to show your concern, it's really touched, it's really touched my heart, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Yes, uh, the amount of telephone call and message asking if I'm fine, but so that's why I have to, you know, yes, I am really, really, your care and concern for my safety have been overwhelming and deeply touching. Yeah, man. So I am sharing this video to express my immense gratitude and reassure you that I am in good health and I am safe. Nothing, yeah, I am, the last time anything come to happen to me that was like, from 2008, you know, when I had, um, you know, when we have two wars going on and you understand what I'm saying? That's, that was, that was it, 2008. So, you know, no, um, no, um, no fault since then. So I am fine. So, yes. Yeah, so I know I haven't posted a video in about a week and I want to address the reason behind this absent. Recently, I've been receiving, um, death threats. Over 70 in total from one, from an individual who has threatened to make me his 15 victim. Yes. So this situation has been extremely distressing and I have to call the necessary steps. Yeah, man. I have to call the necessary step to make sure. Although where I'm at, I am, uh, I am a million percent safer than most people that live in the United States of America. 
because you have to, you know, go through certain things. You have to go through a century and all of these things to wear much. So I don't even worry about that, about my life per se. You know, unless you're winning for um, exiting where you understand. That's how it is. So so recently, you know, you know, so the situation has been extremely distress distressing. And as I had told you, you know, as I have I am taking all the necessary precautions to protect my life. I am grateful to have received training from some of the best experts, particularly in Yakima, Washington State, that's close to Canada, which has prepared me for any threats that may have come my way. While I am determined to defend myself, I assure you that the federal agencies responsible for handling threats across state lines are actively involved. Therefore, I will refrain from commenting further on this issue. But you know, as we can, as you see, yeah, that yeah, man, you, you're looking, you're looking at the man who is behind it, and we can tell you that justice will serve. You understand? Yes, yeah. So to the to this individual, others, you know, but he's one of the most persistent. Others would call, and uh, they would, you know, they would lift their little um, ten second threat you know but the um this man his threats are so detailed and oh you know yes um even a few that he wants to look me in the eye before he sent me to the departure loan i'm like okay but i know what he looks like so you know that's that's a threat down to my life so you know a preemptive strike work and preemptive strike save lives yes so <laughs> that's how it is and you know we love preemptive strike yeah, we at the Jamaica Long Police Channel will love frames, can't save lives. So, to the individual behind these shirts, know that while I may choose to forgive, I will never forget your intentions to harm me. I am ready to face any challenge, Jis. I will not let you get away with any of your actions. I do have a fear of men, but my deepest fear is of God, who is the ultimate giver of life and the art of death. I firmly believe that if God is not ready for you, you could survive even a nuclear bomb. Yes. When you believe in God, miraculous things can happen and others will witness what seems impossible. This is because God is omnipresent and omnipotent. Once again, thanks you all. Thank you all for your incredible support. And concern. We will continue to stand firm against those threatening our community and mission. I know we won't stop. We'll continue this journey as a family. And before I go, I can tell you that um, I can't be bought. You know, the reason why I'm saying that, um, not because you haven't heard me. Um, as I stated before, um, some people, in, in life, most people, their motives and Anything that they're doing is all about money. As we tell you, you know, um, in life, the most important thing in life is happiness. If you enjoy doing what you're doing. But in the same breath, um, sometimes, as I say, money makes the mirror go round. So that's one other thing. Um, we're not going to sell out. We're not going to sell our channel. Yes, we're not going to sell our channel. And we're not going to allow ourselves to be bought by any entity or anyone. Because we won't allow anyone to control us or what we said. Um, we are we are not going to we are not going to go with any podcast as you know has been offered to us because of money. Because um, I do believe that um, you know if you want if you want to see changes, you don't have to really venture off in a for profit thing. You understand where it's all about you just making money. You know, money is only of this world. Money can be made, but you don't have to make it at the expense of everyone. You know, sometimes um, there's a fraction of, you know, a fraction of people, you know, can really, um, you know, cause things to change. So we continue and see, you know, what the future holds. But as I said, we don't we we will never venture down into the podcasting because we don't want people to peer to hear what we have to say. Knowledge is power. As I've told people before, 
I can tell you this. Um, majority of our viewers and subscribers are within four, um, five specific domain. Um, the first is the United States of America, then second, then Jamaica, then third, England, then fourth, Canada, then fifth. You would be surprised which Caribbean island is in fifth. A Caribbean island. And it's a little place that, you know, more, that some people would love to, love to visit. And they can't visit there because of the, because they are from Jamaica, Bahamas. Bahamas is the fifth, is the fifth largest audience that we have on this channel. So America, top it, America. The United States of America, then Jamaica. So it's between Jamaica and the United States of America, then third, the United Kingdom, then fourth, Canada, then fifth, Bahamas. Then there, there's even countries in Africa, um, Germany, France. There are countries that I have never even, that I, I don't know how they receive the, um, listen to the podcast, more or less it must be um, translated to their language or, you know, some people that speak English too and understand or maybe Jamaicans living there. But we continue the journey and yes, I want to say, you know, big up to ever, everyone who tuned into the Jamaica Young Police Channel and big up Everton Blender, yes. Yeah, we have spoken to him um, last week. People have been asking. Um, as we continue the journey, so we'll just wait. As I said, by this weekend, everything's supposed to be back to normal. So have a beautiful day. Jamaica Young Police Channel, out.